Grover, uh, you've gotten so many Republicans in Congress to sign a pledge to never raise taxes. A lot of people are wondering if it's appropriate that you hold so much power in the Republican Party. You've never been elected to public office, but you certainly are influential. What's the consequence if somebody who has signed one of those pledges, one of those pledges of remarkable inflexibility that you forced them to sign, goes against you? Well, people take the pledge because they speak to their voters. The pledge is not to me. Can we make this clear? The pledge is to the voters right. of Oklahoma. If your name is Tom Coburn, it's to the, uh, to the people of your state who elected you. They, no, went they didn't, to they, they didn't ask for the pledge. You, you provide the pledge. You write it. You get everybody to sign it. It's your pledge. Let's, it, let's not mince words, Grover. Tell the truth. You, you, you want people. You want to make sure people don't increase taxes. This isn't, the voter in Iowa didn't write that pledge. We, we offer that pledge to all candidates for office. Some choose to say to their constituents, vote for me, I won't raise taxes. Okay. Obama said, vote for me, I will raise taxes. Right. So different people take different approaches. That vote, that pledge is, is put to the voters of their state, right. and then they get elected. It's important that people can trust their elected officials not to lie their way Is it not office. more important, Grover, that people can trust their elected officials to make the right decisions in their interest yeah. than to be loyal to Grover Norquist so that they get reelected again. Okay. Are you not listening? The pledge is I'm not to me. The very pledge clearly. is to I'm waiting for you to tell me why what you do makes America better. The pledge is to their constituents. Better. Well, raising taxes does not make the economy stronger. It makes it weaker. Okay. Spending money you don't have does not make us stronger. It makes us weaker. We ought to spend less and not raise taxes. That's what people take the pledge you want, to do. And you Obama believe... Obama wants to spend more. I'll give, you this, I'll give you this, Grover. You were, you were into this long before it was majority opinion, but right now you've seen the Quinnipiac poll, uh, you've seen the Gallup poll that, that says most Republicans, not most Americans, most Republicans agree with the fact that there need to be spending cuts and some corresponding tax increases. Do you think that there is not a tax in America on the wealthy or on corporations that needs to be increased? There's just no tax anywhere that you think needs to be increased. Well, the Taxpayer Protection Pledge, which any of your viewers can w go read on Americans for Tax Reform's website, ATR.org, makes it very clear. Tax reform, if there's a credit or a deduction that's inappropriate, get rid of it. Just right. reduce rates so that it's not a hidden tax increase. We're Americans for tax reform. We were founded to pass tax reform in 86. We want lower rates and a broader base. We want tax reform, but not hidden tax increases. And I'll, I'll, save, I'll save the viewers, by the way, from going to your website. The pledge reads this. I, the undersigned, pledge to the taxpayers of the state of undersigned and all the people of this state that I will oppose and vote against all efforts to increase taxes. Uh, that's, that's accurate, Grover? Pretty simple. All right. So no net tax increase. No net tax increase. And you you continue. Okay. Good. No net tax increase. You continue, continue to to counsel those who have signed this pledge not to negotiate at all uh, with anything that will increase the debt limit if it in, involves increasing taxes. And take a look at what's happened across the country in the states this year. Governors who signed the pledge have won that fight. They're not raising taxes. They are reducing spending. The healthy states are not raising taxes. They've elected people who've taken the pledge. The unhealthy states like Illinois and Connecticut are raising ta taxes and damaging their economies. The pledge has saved Americans hundreds of billions of dollars. And, and, and are you okay with the fact that the increases. pledge may cost Americans when this debt ceiling is not increased? It will cost Americans a lot of money when it's not increased. I hope that President Obama will not stick to his ideological left-wing guns and demand more spending and tax increases, that he will come to the table and actually put something in writing, which he hasn't done yet. There is no Obama plan wow. in writing Grover, it is remarkable, from. remarkable to hear you suggesting that President Obama does not stick to his ideological guns when your entire I existence is about sticking to your ideological guns. Grover Norquist, thanks for coming on the show. Grover Norquist is the president of Americans for Tax Reform.